Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. I am so excited today because I actually have the new uh, toiletry pouch on a chain. Uh, it just came out a few days ago and I wanted to do a quick video for you guys just to show you what it looks like, if it's worth it, what fits in it, maybe a few model shots really quick, but I would really love to hear your thoughts and what you're thinking. Do you think this is a waste of money? Do you think that, you know, you don't like the look? Do you, I mean, what are your thoughts? I know a lot, there's a lot of torn reviews about this. So I really would love to hear what you guys think. Um, I do just want to jump right in and start showing you everything. So the 15, here's the 15. It's your traditional 15. Um, it does look like from what I'm hearing, uh, my sales associate did tell me that the tree, the leather is actually treated. So, which is really nice. I think that's one of the concerns that a lot of people had was that they were adding this vachetta on the sides and that it would get stained or dirty and things like that, but it is treated. So I think that's pretty neat. And it looks like the, the 15 is also treated, but it looks like your normal size 15. I mean, it looks exactly the same. Um, you can see the zipper there here, but the lining is all brown. I'll try to like get a close up for you. I'll unzip it so you can see the inside. The inside's all microfiber. It's like a really dark chocolate brown microfiber. Really, really soft. And I think some people might be torn about that because I know the older version has more of a canvas, so it's easy to wipe. So I'm not sure if this is a pro or a con. I mean, I'd love to hear what you guys think. I know I could see how this could get dirty, but I don't know. This would be the first time that I'm using it. So I will see, you know, I'll, I'll try to give you guys an update on what I think, uh, oh, you know, long-term once I, I've used it for a while. Um, the 26 here, I'll show you that. I mean, here's the chain with it. Again, I think it's really cute. I mean, it looks really nice together, but the sides, you can see what it looks like on the sides there, but super cute. And you know what? If you have a 26, I would love to hear if it's pretty solid and stiff. I feel like this is pretty solid and pretty stiff. It does, it feels like it's really well made, but again, it, I feel like the corners are reinforced, so that's really nice. Um, I'll show you the inside. Again, the zipper, it's got the, the brown lining, but the inside is the same. It has the brown microfiber and it actually has a six pocket. You can see the six card holder here. So there's six card holders here, slots, but it also has a really large pocket. So you can see my whole hands in here. I mean, it's very, very large. And you know, what's interesting is the, the actual card where the actual card slots are, this is more of a canvas material. And so is the other side of it. So it's canvas here and canvas where the cards are, are supposed to be, but the back lining, the, the walls are all like the microfiber. So just as a heads up so that, you know, um, the 15 fits really nicely in here. I do want to show you, um, just a few things, what I can put in there in case you're thinking about buying this. I mean, you've got your 15. So if you own the 15, you know that that fits in there in the 26, my rectal verso, you know, I can grab my cell phone and my cell phone, you know, I love this pocket here because my cell phone fits perfectly in there and my sunglasses. So I've got my toiletry 15, my rectal verso, my sunglasses, my cell phone. These are probably the main things that I would put in here. You can probably put a key pouch in there as well. I'll put it in there just so you can see what it looks like because that really does fit in there. I mean, I do want to show you what it looks like inside, but it's pretty busy in there and full, but it still closes without a problem and it stands up by itself as well. The chain, I will say the chain you know, it's not a very thin chain. Like if you own the Felici, the Felici has a really thin chain. It's a little bit thicker. It's got a more medium like thick thickness to the chain. I like that. I think it's a really pretty chain and I love that it's detachable. So we, I can definitely wear it with other bags. Now, one of the things that I am planning on doing is I did order a thin uh, monogram Pochette Matisse strap that I found online. It's brand new, but it's the thinner Pochette Matisse, but it has the same monogram print. I'm super excited to get that because I think this bag would look really nice with that. What I may do is I am, you know, obviously you're watching this video now. I don't have that strap, but what I may do is add that 
picture at the end of my video later at a later time when, when I finally get it. So look out for that. But what I do want to do now is I just want to do a quick, just a few just model shots so that you can see what it looks like on because of the chain being a little bit shorter and uh, we'll be done. So you can see this is how long, I mean, this chain is really, really pretty. And again, the chain drops about 10 inches, so it's not very long, but I love the length of this. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable. Uh, and you know what? I know a lot of people are torn about this, but I do like the treated bachetta here. I think that's really pretty. This treated leather, in my opinion, it like makes this pouch just pop. It's really cute in my opinion. I really, really like it. You know, I know a lot of people are going to be torn about this and I'm sure some of you will have something to say. And I, I welcome all comments and thoughts. And you know what? This isn't for everyone. And I know that a lot of people are upset because, you know, of how expensive this is. I mean, it is 17, I think it's 1760. So I get it. It is expensive. Um, one last thing that I wanted to leave you guys with because I think it's really important. Um, I was doing a little bit of homework trying to figure out if this is actually worth it or not, is this a good bang for your buck? And what I found was if you, right now today, if you try to buy a, a actual toiletry 26, some of you guys are going to see that they're ranging anywhere from $800 to $1,000 just for the toiletry 26. So you're looking at maybe $1,000 if you want a nice, clean, newer looking one. You can probably find one for five or $600, but it's probably not going to be in the best condition. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, um, the actual 15, this one here, the smaller one, this one's ranging for about $500, anywhere from five to $600 just for the small one. You know, and again, it all is going to be contingent on the condition. And so you're looking at a thousand for this, possibly 500 for this. And now if you want to get a Louis Vuitton chain, some of you guys may have seen these already. I mean, they range anywhere from four, five, six hundred dollars. So really it all depends on what you're wanting and what you want to spend on these. So again, once you add up everything, you look at a thousand, five hundred, maybe five hundred for the chain, you're looking at close to two thousand dollars. So I mean, is it really uh, a good bang for your buck? In my opinion, I think it is because right now, I mean, we can't look at the prices of what they used to be. I get that this used to be less than $700, but it isn't today. Unfortunately, they discontinued a lot of the models and now there's a demand for them. So I'm not looking at it uh, at what they used to be because that price is no longer the case today. So I would really love to hear what you guys think about this. And also, do you think it's a good buy? And if you own it, I'd love to hear your thoughts or if you're thinking about getting it, I'd love to hear from you as well. But you know, there are people out there that have these pieces. I would love to hear what you think about what you currently have. And if you're currently happy with your current setup, if you have the actual liner and you, you bought your own chain, you know, I'd love to hear a little bit from everyone. So I welcome all comments and thoughts. So thank you so much for visiting and I really hope to see you again.